Good day everyone, welcome back once again. My name is Nick from ZX Spectrum 48K. As I define my keys here, we're looking at a shooter called Octan, published by Silverbird Software in 1988. It's a budget game, uh, Firebird Software was the main one, and they had a budget range called Silverbird Software. But anyway, we must destroy um, the last demon of Octan over eight different worlds in this vertical scrolling shooter. So we'll see how we get on with this one. It's my first go, presentation doesn't look too bad at the start, and I like that little bit there. Right, energy on the left, here's my ship. And um, well, it's a bit. The fire is a bit weedy. Uh, okay, it's moving a bit slow. Scrolling okay though. Um, can we go a bit left to right? No, oh my word. Okay. So it's monochrome, as a lot of these games were. So I won't mark it down for that. Whoops. And it makes it a little bit harder to avoid stuff. You really have to keep your eyes open on the scenery. Let's see how far I get. So nincompoop gameplay, stupid Chad, uh, on our first go. The ship like moves ever so slightly as you go left and right. That's nice as it's gliding. It adds a bit of movement there. We need to fire the missiles to take out these ground emplacements. And there's various letters about the place to get power-ups as well. I think there's P, which we've just blown up, so we can't use that. I'll have a P, please, Bob. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. It's one of the ones you might stumble across if you're rooting through a budget shelf. Uh, but at the moment, then it's a little bit underpowered. It's a little bit, it's a little bit boring. But uh, two ninety nine, I think this would have cost. In some places, it might have been one pound ninety nine. Um, now it looks like, uh, which is a bit weird on this, uh, the stuff's shooting at me, you see those green dots. But uh, it's moving very, very slow. But it's like heat seeking. It's coming towards you. Hmm. And what, how many lives did I get there? Two? Or was it three? Don't know. Uh, on the right hand side is all the power ups we've collected, it's like a shield and other sort of stuff there. Well done, you qualified. Well, oh, that's a bit hard to read. Well, I meant to say Nick, but I think I spelled Big J. Anyway, well done, Big J. We'll never see your like again. Now, if you've watched this far as the video, please consider subscribing. Uh, it's helping the numbers grow. Uh, and if you've subscribed already, you nutcase, then thanks a lot there. I say nutcase in a friendly way, not that you're a nut in a case. Okay, so you can see on the specials, we just went on there, you can set auto fire, but it doesn't seem to make a great deal of difference. Let's just have a few goes. Um, now, I do have a poke here for inf immunity, so um, I'll uh, do one last go proper, and then I'll see if it's worthwhile to actually play it to see what other levels you would have got to back in the day. Now, I don't know what that P does, but we'll try, we'll try and pick it up. Uh, have a look on the right-hand side, see if anything changes. And I've blown up again. I think that was an extra life, wasn't it? Not quite sure, but I use that extra life to die. Well done. Green. I suspect, I don't know, I suspect each level is a different colour. And um, we're starting off green. Green's not a bad one to uh, select. They would be like a yellow or a cyan. A red and magenta are the worst ones to pick. Oh man, I'm not doing too hot here. So we're going over the evil lair and bases of the uh, demon of Octan. We don't know why he's a demon. We don't know why he's a demon of Octan. We don't know why we want to kill him. Octan, it sounds like a face cream for people that have got spots. Octan, Octit, baby. So, you know, uh, perhaps this person didn't have any spots or he bought the face cream and uh, it didn't work. So he's trying to destroy the face cream company. And about time to take that pharmaceutical demon from hell. If you are a pharmaceutical demon from hell, then comment in the comment section below. Are you a member of Octan? Octan, I didn't make up these names. Octan. Like a, an orangutan with lots of letters missing. Octan. Oh, word. Uh, apologies to orangutans that might be watching uh, this. It's, uh, you know, I'm not taking the mickey out of you. So don't form a protest group outside my house. No, not again. Right, blast it, baby. Uh, right, vertical scrolling shooter. It's moving okay, but I'm, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, really. Um, light force, if you want a good vertical scrolling shooter on the old um, ZX spec -A. Yeah, light force. I mean, the ship looks like you're flying a, uh, a sewing machine in space, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Uh, this one, I can take it or leave it. It feels a little bit like, um, I've got an extra missile there. It feels a little bit like it's been made by some sort of construction kit. I uh, wish in the homebrew world there'd be more shooters available, but it's because of AGD, arcade game designers seem to be mainly platformer type games. Let's take it out, man. Kabiff, kaboom, kaboom, kabiff, kabiff, kaboom. Right. Take that, big nose. That's a good thing to say to someone. Uh, right. 
Yes, and I'm dead again, right. Okay, I think that's game over. I will put a poke in now, but infinite uh, immunity. That's, that's quite flashy, the way it's saying game over. That's not quite easy to program. It's like spinning around. That's very arcade quality, so I like that. It's a, quite a flat game. Uh, shooting is a little bit weedy, uh, but the scrolling there is okay. And it's only two ninety nine, so you can't you can't knock it, I suppose. For a pocket money money, it isn't too bad, but it's not one to hold up to everyone saying this is the greatest game in the land. But it, it does what it says on the tin, two ninety nine. It was nine ninety nine to be taken the pedal, uh, but two ninety nine, okay, one ninety nine, well, a bit of a bargain really. Uh, it's got a few good touches to it. It's been, uh, it's been programmed well, a bit of fault there. It's it's not bad, but it's not brilliant. Right, Biffity Biff Buff, if you want to be playing this game, like a lot of them, I've downloaded it from a uh, site called uh, Spectrum Computing, if you've got am emulation. Uh, well, does Spectrum's one as well, if you favour that, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of them, there might be some others as well. But there, there seem to be the two main ones, are not being destroyed now, so all it's about here is parallax scrolling, look, the, uh, the background's moving faster than the foreground. Anyway, um... Uh, we, the only reason we're doing it now is to see if the what the next level looks like, see if it's worth progressing to it. Is it green again? Is there different graphics? Is there different waves? Or is it just what well, I suspect what really happened? They're just reusing the same graphics in a different colour. That's what I suspect is going to be happening. But it'd be good if to see if there's an end level boss or not. So let's uh, let's try and get to that bit. B, what does that do? Don't know. B for big nose. Biff, biffity biff, bamboo. If, I mean, if it was a film, you wouldn't watch to the end, would you? You this. Hmm. If you want to see other ZX Spectrum games we've reviewed, we've reviewed thousands, well, less than 2,000, but more than 1,000 at the time of recording. Uh, there's a link in the description there called Other Spectrum Commentaries or such. Uh, but if you want to go the long way around, click on my username, check to the channel page, have a look around there, see what it's like, have a bit of a browse. Or you could go to, um, yeah, or when you get the channel page, click on the playlist tab, ZX Spectrum will be there. There's a Facebook page as well, if you're on Facebook and want to be alerted when uh, new games uh, go up. There's a link to that on the uh, channel page as well. Are these end of level bosses? I can't make my mind up. There's a, you know, there's a few other bits and pieces. A Twitter account, Jenkins7 and Nick. We also do a link to the videos as well, and maybe sometimes a few clips, but there you go. We're having a bit of a laugh, but the YouTube channel is the main one. Tell everyone about that. Bam, bam, bam. If you're watching these live as they go up, hello. Uh, they tend to, we tend to do two ZX Spectrum games on a Saturday and a homebrew on the, the Wednesday. And uh, then uh, there's about three other games go up in the week normally. Uh, various other systems. Currently it's Commodore 64 and fluctuating between the uh, Atari 2600 and the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world. And uh, there you go. There, there, you, there you go. Big nose. Uh, Commodore Amiga as well on a Sunday. Right, let's biff that. I did own the uh, Commodore Amiga and the ZX Spectrum. Uh, come on, let's get to the end of the level here. I thought that end of level boss would be something. Uh, now we've got a power up, which is double guns, but it doesn't seem to be too much of an advantage. It seems just as, just as good as one. Yeah, I think that's a bit, a bit of a duff, really. Um, right, okay, let's just get to the end. Uh, I don't think I would have ever got off level one as a kid, to be honest with you. There's a star, the W. I've got a bit of a shield around me now, so I don't know, I'll die straight away. It's gone green. I mean, shield, shield is is, uh, what, is what you need. Um, yeah, flying shark is a good one. That's one of my favourites, actually. You uh, in a biplane? That's pretty exciting. Up on says 1942 and 1943. Uh, this is yeah. It's on it's on a par with those 1942 and 1943, I suppose. This right. Uh, I am a bit bored though. Come on, just get to well, going to open water. Surely that's the end of the stage now, brown cow. Is it? Don't know. Did it? Did 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 big nose. Oh man! Right here we go. End level bus. It's a great big centipede. Not too dissimilar uh, to the big thing in Space Harry that turns out every now and again, but two D as opposed to three D. Oh god! Um, come on. Mm, I don't, yeah, even if I got to this bit uh, back in the day, I don't think I would have got much further. Uh, we'll see, all my energy has gone down to zero before I'll be brown bread. That's rhyming slang for dead. Two of the Smegas, why can't they just be one? Two wriggly worm space creatures trying to make things bad. Bad, bad, bad baby. Oh man. 
yeah, I, I would have turned it off by now. So the game is okay for budget, uh, but against everything else, it's not brilliant, it's not terrible either. Presentation is good, uh, graphics at the front end are nice, you've got a few power-ups, which don't really too, tend to do a great deal. Scrolling is good, um, yeah, it's solid without being exceptional, and I think that's fair to, fair to say. It blends in, but Silverbird uh, software range budget, if I got it on a cover disc, I would have been happy. A couple of quid, I would have been happy as well. Right, so it's not ripping anyone off, that's what that's, that's what basically I'm saying. And the ship graphic gliding from left to right is pretty good also, I didn't need to do that. Excellent play! Well, Lizzie didn't know that I'm using a poke. Right, okay, let's just see stage two, and then I'll pull the ship to the bottom left or something. Yeah, it's yellow, so there we go. So it's more of the same, and it looks like it's reusing the graphics again, so not very inventive after that. So you've seen stage one, you've seen all of it, really. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Octan, a vertical scrolling shooter on the budget range from Silverbird Software in 1988 on the ZX Spectrum 48K. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro? then put that in the comment section below you're more than welcome until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye octan it sounds like a face cream for people who have got spots octan octit baby